<laughs> hey, Lukas, quite a palace, huh? Yeah, uh, just a moment. Uh, I'm sleeping my headphones. It's uh, no, no worries. I I'm uh, Maya as an author today. Hi. Ah, it's no. I I thought it's it's Arthur. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can. Yeah, I'll switch off the music. Uh, okay. Hi. Uh, wait. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, hi. Thank you. Uh, fine. And you? Uh, doing great. Okay. And, um, one second. I'm trying to find a relevant, um, team. It's a search engine, right? Yeah. Uh, All right. So yes, yeah, so we, I, yeah, go ahead. As you are here, it would be lovely if you uh, start. Okay. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, in terms of search engine, there is, there's not much happening. It's much more about the new data set because we need, like, we have now this D19 and there's uh, some uh, huge differences between them. I mean, between P v15 or 12 depending how you count and v19 so uh, and because we are going to prepare like three data set data, three different uh, data frames for sentences sections and entire documents we have already one, one uh, notebook uh, pipeline notebook for uh, sections i think and today tomorrow i'm going to to try uh, to run it on the whole uh, data set, so 50,000 plus uh, papers. And we're still working on two other notebooks. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's, that's it. Uh, and, would you be so kind to a little bit elaborate what, what sections are? A section, like, se um, section that is uh, something like a paragraph in the document so everything, because if you look at the document, uh, meta paper uh, section like method result. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And everything that is like uh, distinguished, like a level lower than the paper itself. So it's this basic uh, like sections that are abstract, uh, introduction, exactly results, methodology, whatever it is named. Got it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Who do we have? Um, not hi Tyler. Not so many people. Hey, it's yet hi. quiet. Sad. <laughs> um, it's Maya instead of Arthur, right? I didn't notice. I thought it was Arthur. The accents are so similar. <laughs> are you serious? That's <laughs> pretty good. Uh, Arthur? No way. No, I, no, no, I definitely know it's you, Maya. Don't worry. I'm aware. I think uh, we actually forgot to ping everyone in, in the general channel. No, there is, there is an info. No, well, it's there. Yeah, it's there. I found it. Yeah, yeah it's like the last. The yeah, last but you, you guys realize that no one is like actively monitoring it unless we ping them with everyone over here. So I just did. Uh, oh, okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, um, I don't know if anyone even pays attention to the pings, to be honest. I mean, I do, but not everyone. Um, I don't anymore. See, <laughs> Precisely. many of them. So I just know the group that I have to check. Uh, just it's, sorry if I may close my uh, so so to say my yeah, my yeah, part yeah. of the, the of the of the call yeah. uh, because in twenty minutes I, we have our uh, B daily call in our team. Um, it's just uh, if you have any questions about the data frame about V nineteen etc. Uh, so you, okay, there are only four persons or three persons beside me here. So uh, yeah, mm -hmm. but even if. Uh, do you have any questions about data frame or uh, the thing that we are doing now in search engine group? Um, I would love actually to talk to you about that tomorrow if possible. Uh-huh. 
uh, sure. because we indeed do have a lot of questions regarding data sets. Uh, so that would be lovely to discuss that, just in order to uh, kind of keep uh, the track of, of the general call, I will just uh, jump into a very quick update regarding our team, uh, our progress and blockers. Um, so um, basically, uh, we have a list of new of extended end grants. Uh, now we have uh, diabetes, obesity, cancer, and lung diseases, chronic lung diseases. Uh, the problem is uh, we need uh, um, MD input uh, at this uh, stage. When, so when you say you need MD input, what do you mean by that? Yeah, it, the, uh, Kevin, who is working on that, he has uh -huh. some questions regarding the cancer terminology. And that is something like we kind of pinged uh, MDs that we worked with previously, but there is no much response at the moment. So if someone can help us with that, that, that would be lovely. Uh, that in this specific case, probably someone who is uh, better familiar with the cancer um, um, disease and uh, relevant terminology uh, probably would be uh, the best of an input. Uh, we don't have uh, that many people on a call, uh, so that's data sets. Anton, do you have anything to add? Uh, I just joined in. So, quick update regarding test data set. We should have V12 data ready. Uh, and also... Yeah, 12, like, because we were still processing the, the old style. So I think okay. it should go. I need to check out with Slava regarding this. Uh, another thing for next uh, V9 or V19 data yeah. set, we already have, well, not already have, but like setting up the like MongoDB, uh, so database key value storage that for every and of course, that DDoI, you can query the, the documents and get all of the JSON files. So instead of reading them from file, you can query the database. Again, it's we're just setting up that, setting that up. So it needs some testing, and we're figuring out like how much, like resources we needed for that to, to work reliably. But so far, I think like we already uploaded like half of the documents there. So check out our data channel for announcement, how to connect it through. So, so far, reliably you can connect from Python code. So like through Py, PyMongo, everything Does it else. Work for you? So if I'm doing it through Python, yes. If I'm doing it something like, you know, uh, what is that, Mongo Compass, like a GUI mm -hmm. tool, then it kind of sends me to secondary port or something, and then there is like mm. nothing. Yeah, it doesn't work initially, so. but then afterwards it kind of stops working. But through Python, like all of the code, like all of those methods work nicely. Uh, if you use uh, Google Collab, it works. If you want to use like the Python notebooks that we have on our VM, it works also nicely. Even like locally, I just tried out and it worked as well. So some connectivity issues. I think we have some, something is on Google Cloud Platform is like the networking issues. And we so far like, we have these bugs and issues for like last two weeks. Uh, we'll see, we'll try to set up the, the same thing on AWS and see how that will go. So we could eliminate this kind of cloud issues. But yeah, so this far, is great. So yeah, so uh, since like this V9, like V15, V19 data set are changing everything. 
uh, we're kind of like, okay, we definitely start just utilizing more, like better, better solutions to, to, to work with documents, not relying on whatever will be the next update for 2019. So now we will just have again. Uh, again, right now it's just, you need to know how to work with Mongo, but the plan is to set up like RESTful API via Fast API, Fast API, and then it will be all like, like the interface will be fixed, then the backend won't matter much. But again, that will come in, in the next couple of weeks. Right now, it's... Yeah, and the thing that I've added to organizational updates, just to double down on Anton's uh, response, we're actually working on extending Core 19 with uh, those literature review tables, um, the ones that we're currently hosting at that CoronaMed website. This way we will have kind of a centralized place for researchers to ask questions. Like, what do we know about persistence of virus and services, uh, surfaces and have them collaborate on the structured data extracted from those papers. So again, kind of merging Cord 19 with the literature review tables. Um, of course, it doesn't work. But yeah, uh, I need to fix this one. But um, probably the, the next update comes in in a couple of days once we figure this out. And I'm working with uh, Paul Mooney from Kaggle side to actually give this as a replacement for Kaggle contributions page. So we have a confirmation that uh, whatever round two uh, goals of, of that competition and this tables are like the same thing essentially. Yep. Okay. Good. Right. So as we do not have the, it's Saturday, obviously, so people are resting and we don't have uh, that many people uh, on the call. Um, uh, would you, uh, is there anything more we can discuss or we are kind of fine at the moment with all the updates? And uh, the only other thing that uh, I'm working on and hold on. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out how to embed the, the actual uh, Google Doc that we have. It looks ugly right now, but essentially embedding it on the website so that anyone can uh, follow our updates and also embedding the latest daily call playlist. So people don't think that we're not doing anything. Because... Yeah, the daily call playlist is updated. I've done that. Perfect. Uh, you uh, can, Arthur. You can uh, simply create a HTML template, okay? And then kind of each, each time upload uh, the new table in a Python, and then it will be converted to HTML and HTML can go to the website. Yeah, I'm trying to minimize that with the like out of the box things. So you can actually oh, okay. publish uh, stuff um, to the web and it gives you embed link. It's just the styling and styling iframes is, is a mess. So I'm, I'm trying to figure that out right now. Cool. That's cool. Yeah, right. I'm also, I've also been, because it was mentioned by my needing medical people, I'm yes. going to make a user group of all the medical doctors. So we've got one place to be able to find the whole list. Well, if nothing else... Yeah it's a way of reaching out to them because they're not the problem is is not all of them are in any particular channels so if nothing else it's a list that you can find <coughs> that I'll, I'll try and update that I've, I've already found a well i've already got a list of them it's because i'm like manually keeping track of people and it's really really clunky so i need to come up with a better way of doing that and that's probably oh one by the do. way uh tyler uh, i onboarded uh deep team i've seen, uh, I've seen. she's the hr person for rockefeller university and yep, yep. she will also has, yeah, I'm just talking so that other people uh, that will be listening to, to this call will, will know about this. Uh, and she's, she also has some experience with behavioral studies and bilingual, um, you know, communication. So hopefully she could be a great addition for us to figure out this connection of people to tasks and also resolving communication barriers and language barriers. So let's see how that goes. Yeah, that sounds good. Other than that, I, I think we're good. Uh, a, a short Saturday call, but uh, we're progressing very fast. That little reminder from my side as well, okay? 
uh, we will need annotators in a couple of days and we need me medical expert pretty urgent go okay uh, medical annotators who have i got on that one sorry um, i'm just looking through my list of people who are around who i'm related to this okay, yeah we, we, it's we, trying to find people who are active is the problem not people with the skills yeah, I, I understand because I, I ping few people, right, and never got the response. So as I understand, there is certain level of, of natural turnover. Uh, however, I believe that as uh, teams, uh, and not just our team, <clears throat> but, the, um, but other like teams will get, uh, uh, arrive to some initial results. I believe we all uh, will need uh, some verification and then uh, this verification basically splits into two level. One is um, approvement that is just good enough to make sure that paper is related, uh, which is also uh, last time uh, medical students did an amazing job on that. And a medical expert who can really understand the differences and nuances uh, within the uh, medical topic. By the way, um, have you been in contact with Ruslan Olenik? The last time I talked with him, he said that he actually had COVID and he was uh, sick. So yeah, maybe touch base with him. Hope he's doing okay now. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, Olenik, I, I, I tried to, to contact him. I'll try again because he didn't respond. So I'll, I'll try to contact him probably outside of Slack. He's probably just not online. So. Yeah. Okay, um, cool. Yeah. I'll, like I said, I'll see if I can make a, a medical doctor's user group and then people can make a point of either reaching, like sending messages or using their emails or whichever work, work, way works best to get people on board. Perfect. Perfect. Sounds right. great. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much, everybody, and uh, we'll catch up tomorrow in the general call. All right, sounds good, guys. Bye bye. <laughs> bye.